What's up, you movie-loving maniacs, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host, as always, Jay Schatzer. And today, it's a quickie movie haul video, but it's just going to be focusing on one box set that I got, because it really is an awesome box set. And, um, yeah, I already have Volume 1. This is the second volume of that one, and it's just really cool looking, and wanted to show it off. So it's probably going to be a really quick video, just rundown of what's the uh what the movie is the box set the movies and all that crap but yeah let's get into it uh here it is it is and i couldn't resist picking it up um i trying to scale back a little bit just because of the new house and everything but um had to get this one in the collection because volume one was badass and this one looks just as equally amazing it is the Danzig macabre volume two so right here, a uh, great looking set. Uh, it's got some awesome looking movies on here. I've only actually seen one and the one that I did see was years and years ago, but it was in my memory, very fantastic, uh, very beautifully shot. Um, yeah, but it's the Italian Gothic collection. It's got three classic films on it and one landmark mini series, which actually looks really, really interesting. Uh, I think I'm actually going to sit down and check it out and see what I think of it. And if I really dig it, I might actually do a review on it. I've never really done a review on a mini series before, so that might be interesting to try out. But um, great looking set. You got the spine there with the movies. And then you got the uh, cover there with Ros Roselle Benary right there looking fabulous. And you got the back with a little rundown of what it's all about. But the movies on here are Castle of Blood and the Italian version of that, Danza Macabra. Uh, Jekyll is the mini series from, I believe, 1969 is what it said. Uh, then they have They Have Changed Their Face, which is kind of a modern take on vampire lore, which sounds pretty interesting. And uh, last, The Devil's Lover. Uh, that's the one with Roselle Benary in it. And uh, looks pretty interesting. Anything with, with her is really, really uh, engaging to say the least. Um, but yeah, the, the main pull of this box set, I believe, in my opinion, is the, um, Castle of Blood with, um, Barbara Steele. I think that's the main pull, uh, why you really want to get this set. Um, and that's the one that I've seen, but it was a long, long time ago. So I have vague memories of it, but I just really remember loving it. And it kind of sparked my love for Italian Gothic horror films. So I'm going to be revisiting that one, probably going to do a review on that one for sure. Um, but yeah, let's go through the individual films in here and kind of show off the cover work. But you got the uh, 4K Ultra HD and the Blu-ray on this one. It is a Castle of Blood. Really awesome cover right there. And the back there, a little right up. It's a beautifully shot black and white film from my memory. Really, really, really recommend it, even though I have vague memories of it. Uh, but up next is the mini series Jekyll. This is this is really intriguing to me. I want to check this one out, uh, especially it's just a black and white, very strange kind of look into it said the the evils of men or something like that. The it was, just sounds pretty cool, uh, but never even knew it existed until this set put it out. And then you have they have changed their face. Pretty interesting cover art there. In the back definitely looks weird and trippy and last but not least is the devil's lover roselle Benary. and that one looks pretty cool i'm gonna check that one out for sure i'm probably gonna take a lot of time and just sit down and watch a lot of the movies that i haven't really got a chance to check out and uh kind of put them on the list of what to review um but i got more stuff coming um, I got a pile over here of newer things and older stuff that I'm going to do other videos for. Uh, but a lot of stuff I want to check out. I'm really kind of getting into just sitting down and absorbing everything and seeing what I can come up with. But yeah, this box set looks like a complete winner, as was the Volume 1. Who knows if they'll do a Volume 3, but uh, probably because they love milking feet, me for all my cash. But um, yeah, just a really awesome box set. It's going to sit nicely up next to the other one, which I have right here. So put it right over there, make some more room up there. But uh, yeah, cool set. And 
definitely looking forward to watching Castle of Blood again. Uh, that, that one's guaranteed to do a review on it, I think. And then um, the Jekyll miniseries, I'm really going to check that one out to see if I should do kind of my first kind of review on a miniseries to see what that's all about. And if anyone's ever, um, if anyone's got the set or have watched any of these ones, let me know what your favorites are on here, which ones you recommend I watch or do a review on. And um, yeah, and anything, I guess, just what what would you guys like me to do video reviews on if you have any kind of interest of seeing what my eye views are on something uh definitely recommend that in the comments below uh, i'm gonna try to be more um responsive i guess to it um but the guy that the there was a guy that always recommended every video i put up he recommended me watching the mini series creature um <laughs> I, I I guess he just got, I guess he finally gave up, but I mean, it went on for years, so maybe, maybe I'll make a review of it and surprise him and see if he even notices, but um, yeah, if you guys have any recommendations, uh, definitely let me know, um, see what I can do, see what I can squeeze in there, but um, yep, cool, cool box set, and it's going to look great in the collection behind me, but guys, that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe, and if you have time, leave a comment below because I love hearing from you guys. But until then, I will see you all at the next Lucid Nightmare. See ya!